The web is full of useful and valuable data, but in some cases, the data might not be as easy to access, especially if the website that is hosting the data you want doesn't offer an API. We are Parsub. In today's video, we'll go over how to scrape from any website into a JSON file. The first step in this process is to choose a web scraper for your project. We're going to be using Parsub for this video. Be sure to download and install Parsub for free so you can follow along with this tutorial. You can download it for free through the link in the description or at parsub.com. With Parsub, web scraping is as simple as clicking on the data you want and downloading it as an Excel sheet or JSON file. Why would you want a JSON file? Well, in some cases, you might want to extract the data from a website as a JSON file rather than a CSV. JSON, which stands for JavaScript Object Notation, is preferred when you need to transfer data between a web server and a web application, as it is more lightweight and easier for web applications to parse. JSON is a way of storing complicated data structures. You can use code to read the specific structure you're dealing with and then make it readable for actual humans. It makes it much easier to represent more complicated data sets. Parsup can extract data from any website and automatically export as a JSON file. Better yet, Parsup can run on a schedule and update your JSON file with new data every hour, day, or week. It all depends on your project needs. Now let's get started. For today's video, we'll run a very simple scrape of Amazon result page for the term computer monitor. First, open up Parsub and click on the new project button and enter the URL of the page you will be scraping. The page will then render inside the app. A select command will be automatically created. Start by clicking on the name of the first product on the list. It will be highlighted in green to be indicated that it has been selected. The rest of the products of the page will be highlighted in yellow. Click on the second one to select them all. Rename your selection to product. Parsub is now extracting the name and URL of each product on the page. Now click on the plus sign next to your product selection and choose the relative select command. Using the relative select command, click on the name of the first product on the page and then on its price. An arrow will appear to show the association you're creating. You can now repeat steps four to five to add additional data to your scrape such as rating scores and number of views. It should look something like this. Feel free to pause the video to make sure that everything's correct. You can now run your scrape job and download your data as a JSON file. To do this, click on the green Get Data button on the left sidebar. In this screen, you'll be able to test, schedule, or run your web scraping project. For larger projects, we recommend testing your project before running it, but in this case, we'll run it right away. Once your run is complete, you'll be able to download it as a JSON or CSV file. This video we put together only covers the basics of web scraping. We just wanted to show you how exactly you can turn any web scraping data into a JSON file. If you want to learn more, we encourage you to check out some of our guides on our YouTube channel and blog. The link is in the description. We teach things like how to scrape websites like Amazon, Yelp, Yellow Pages, Yahoo Finance, and many more. If you have any questions about Parsa, reach out to us via live chat on our website and we'll be happy to assist you. Thanks for watching our video. If you want to learn more about web scraping, check us out at parsub.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos on web scraping, data, and the internet. Happy scraping!